Welcome to Game Road. Jesus, where the hell did we come from? Welcome to the Super Spirits Brothers. Um, I... My real... Um, we're, we're going to be doing the other game, so let's just jump in and see what the Master Drive has for us today. We've had some pretty good luck with some good games. Yeah, no, we've been having some good stuff. A lot so, of challenging, interesting ideas, so... I'm looking forward to this one. Alright, alright. What glory do you be set upon me? Brendan, your game is Hellfighter. Hellfighter. Okay. I know, I must, maybe it's like an obscure jam or something, but yeah. it's uh, for the, the Nintendo for machine. The NES, so. No, okay. There's all lots right, of cool right. stuff for the NES. Alright, right. right. and I will um, pick mine. There we go. And uh, just ignore that. Yeah, right. I am. Please tell. Hey, your game is Oops. Skull and Crossbones. Okay, Skull and Crossbones. Maybe it's based on the movie. Maybe the like Cutthroat Island or something? That's yeah. Some pirates, obviously. Or, or, or like the, the Skull and Bone Society. It could yeah, be yeah, like it could be like an um, intrigue based thing. Yeah. I'm actually look, really looking forward to just playing some indie I've PC. never I've never heard of these games before. So, okay, so we're going to take a look at Skull and Crossbones and we're going to take a look at Hell Fighter. So let's jump in and start playing some games. You want to just start right away? Yeah. Play and comply. You are doomed. We're playing Skull, Skull and, and Crossbones. Oh, attention! They've made some good stuff. Yeah, they did the. Um, Hints, you must kill at least 15 enemies to move on. Do not waste weapons. Try to find all booty. All booty. Do not touch skulls. Try to hurt the wizard. Hey, every everybody, time let's try and it. find all booty. Booty, yeah. booty, 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 booty. Are you ready to get it right in? Skulls, okay. In a top. Uh, who cares? Whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, 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 look at that. Oh my god, look at the mummy. Look at What? Is she an enemy? Wait, can we listen to the sounds for a second? What's she, what is that? What? Why is she missing part of her leg? But ah! Look! Look! This guy's run. Look at this one second. <laughs> uh, you're on a timer, of like. He's doing a Highland fling. <laughs> okay. No, you're not supposed to touch skull. Okay, I guess the bones are okay. But what? And okay. Oh, look at this. Ah! Wizard! <laughs> oh! What? What? What was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah. the, 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 from a ship, okay. That, there's like some boobage right there. Yeah, that, that's the booty we're supposed to be finding. Oh, we get it. Oh, we get it to the level. Oh, well, that's nice. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we're playing. Is this is this an Atari game with upgraded gra graphics? Does it have upgraded graphics, or are they worse? I don't know. Like on, they're what's bigger. That? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What is wrong with this guy's jump? <laughs> Whee! Do you have health? Oh yeah, you have 42 health. Oh, you can walk on the cloud, just cause the... I like, I like it's got blood and gore, just to like... What is happening? You're supposed to be collecting weapons, I think. You say go to a ship to collect weapons, and then you're collecting... Do those hurt you? Grab another bot. No, it, it, each one of those heals you one. Falling down doesn't hurt you at all. Getting a bottle thrown at you hurts you for two. Now you're, you're out of reference, so you just have to punch the guy in the throat. Oh, it's a six. Oh, there you go, you stabbed him, it's cool. I ran out of sword. Is that the same animation? I think I ran out of sword. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Look, look at those. Those ladders are not healthy. No. You can jump higher, I think. <laughs> If you have like a, if you press up and jump, I don't think you jump onto there, but you can jump onto the other platform to the left. Okay, that's how you down jump. <laughs> which you just fall to your death. Yeah, there you go, see? It's kind of arbitrary. <laughs> that's always what you want to hear, you know? I'm, I like that I'm hurling daggers at... Rats? At rats. Okay, now you have more daggers, you got some health back. There's a barrel. What are you doing? I think I'm collecting weapons. Oh, you paused. Yeah, you get through. Can you go to the right? I'm gonna choose. I got eight sword after all. How can you run out of sword? I guess it is. You can't run out of sword. I don't care how much like. Now that guy must have a really tough neck. If three stabs, to <coughs> like you can only stab a guy in the neck nine times. <laughs> ah! I'm glad that they brought Samus Aaron to teach this guy how to move. Oh no! Oh look at. Okay. Ah! What the fuck was that? Okay, he's almost dead. He's down to 10, I guess. 
What? I, what? Okay, now you have to. Okay, but you don't want to touch the skulls. Like, you don't want to grab the skulls. Where are the skulls? Those those red skull things. See those the red the boxes with the red and the skull inside. Oh, I see. Well, you can touch them as long as you're not on their level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, clearly. Like, come on, like, I'm ridiculous. Like, come on, like. Um, I'm 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 not sure what's even happening. Just land. I love this guy's jump. Hey, I'm like a he's goblin being, man. He's being pulled ah! forward. <laughs> ah! Oh, get the crock pot. Oh, like get the crock pot. Oh no, there's a cannon shooting at you. Yeah, you didn't realize that? No, I thought it was a crock pot you had to grab. It's in a black hole, so I assumed it was an item you had to get. You have a lot of health. It's it's interesting that for like such a bad game, it's not hard. Like it's not hard. What? This is a really really ugly game. I'm just gonna say that. It looks like something that somebody made by accident. Yeah. It looks like something where somebody somebody was like was just doing like some test mode, and they're like, well, I'll ship it. Or somebody, yeah, somebody's we... kid like made, made the graphics for them, and they were like, yeah, we'll make this a game. Mm -hmm. we'll I could see like someone thinking like, yeah, this looks good, look at that. But it doesn't look good, like... Oh, okay. Like, it doesn't look bad from like a... Okay. Oh, you died. So with touching skulls, you just die instantly, but you have a huge amount of health that just... Slowly gets whittled away by a thousand guys shooting you with guns or arrows or whatever. What the fuck was that? I know it's not you, but it's the game. Look at this guy. Like, what's wrong with his jump? <laughs> it really does look like he's just being sucked for- Oh, there goes- There goes my phone. Ah! Oh my god! You have a lot of items, there's no weapons. Uh, you did like zero damage- Is he just saying die over and over again? Oh, game over. Well, that was uh, junk. Stop tickling her boobs, man. That's really creepy. I'm really hoping if you play long enough, it does like what they do in that Bible game where it just removes your clothing more and more. Sunday fun day. Oh wow, he's really sexy. Look at that. I want him. I kind of want him. I kind of want him to like, like just, just, fu just fuck me. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, uh, I'm, oh, wait, I looked at his face. Oh god, no. I I'm not gay. I'm not bisexual. I look one. May I have one look at that guy and think. I really want him to bend me over the gangplank. Yeah, let's play Hellfighter. <laughs> well, look at this. Hellfighter. Thin Chen Enterprise. That doesn't sound like one That's, dude. That sounds whoa. like they didn't finish. It's like a guy's nickname. And whoa. Somebody knows their programming tricks. They must Why have... is this still happening? <laughs> oh, it transitioned into something. That, that is some transition. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And I'm just, I'm just want to watch, I just want to watch, just want to watch special effects for like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's like the ending of 2001. Whoa! Somebody has a lot. Look at this. This is somebody who has done a lot of those um, demos. Those um, C64, C64 yeah. thing was all over this. It was all about the tech demos. Like, what's, what weird things can you do? Yeah. Yeah. This is just a tech demo demonstration, as far as I can see. Yeah, that like... Okay... You, why don't you press start? I, I want to know the plot. The plot is that some guy says... <laughs> In the dark! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Option. Very simple. play -o. Well, obviously you want... Whoa, whoa, How whoa! How can you go with your... To 19. Holy crap, 19... What uh, I was in 6 credits, what? and... Okay. What do they think is going to happen? Ah! What? Okay, I'm... What, what is that thing? I don't know what that is. Someone was pretty excited to make it though. Ow! What? There's random blocks. Ah! Ah! Apparently you... That's why you have so many lives. You die in one hit. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. Ah! I'm not okay with this anymore. It looks like... Can I not... Okay, no, they just have a lot Am of Am I the only one thinks they just took the character um, from... Um, yeah. Prince of Persia and just like edited That's... the sprite slightly? What am I standing on? I'm not sure what you broke or what you're standing <laughs> on. You say, ah! You know who I sound now that I've got a gold, uh, actually? Uh, I sound uh, like uh, Super... Uh, I sound, I sound uh, like... Uh, I sound like Super Dave Osborne. Oh my god, you totally do. I bet if I watched the Super Dave Osborne video, it would not be hey, that funny. Hey, pots! <laughs> I just feel good saying that. Did you know that the Super Dave Osborne cartoon? Where he's like super buff? 
Yeah, I saw the Super Dave Osborne cartoon and I didn't understand it because the whole point of Super Dave is like a cartoonish thing happening in the real world. Yeah. If a cartoonish thing happens to a cartoon character, it's not interesting. No. It's just... That's... Ah! I like that your skeleton dance is just a little jig. It's like, ah, I'm happy that I'm dead. I'm okay with this. So when this guy's invincible, they take lots of they take lots of hits. They take lots of hits. I think I've seen you kill a few of them, but I was really not paying any attention. Yeah, at so all. I'm a kill. Nothing at all. <laughs> it is very ambivalent. The, and my ambiguous. jump is so weird. It's very ambiguous where you can go on the screen. Yeah. And what even that thing? It looks like some sort of Chinese. What's weird demon is like from, holding like, down like, does not look like anything. But if I hold down an attack, it is weird stompy thing. But if I just attack normally, I throw a dago. So holding down does have a different function, but it gives no indication until you attack. So are those smiley faces at the top of the screen that look sort of like... Poops? Why is my score constantly... Just randomly generate? It maybe is... Ah! That is extremely unpleasant. That is like abnormally unpleasant. Just oh god, oh god. I like that they explode. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I, I don't know. It, so are those pumpkins, or are they, are they, I think they're are they, smiley faces. Are they just poo? Like, did, are they piles of poo with smiles drawn on them? That might, or, or are they like octopus cookies? I think, I think those are octopus cookies. Those might be octopus cookies. I think my score every time, like, I make progress, like, I progress every a step. step. I, I move, because if I move back, I don't gain more points. But then I take a step and it goes up by. This is another one of those demo scene things where somebody was just like, hey, maybe you can make it so a point happens every time you step. You can! I'll make that, put that in my game. Yeah. Is this a game? I mean, I'm seriously asking you, Brendan, is this a game? I don't know, it's no gone home. <laughs> can I just point out that I've been playing this, I think, longer than Skull and Crossbones, but I've made less progress? You've, you've hardly gone anywhere. It's really unclear what the game's about, or like like. Well, we a... did skip the plot, like. Yeah, I know. Whoa, orb. But I mean. I'm... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the power ups are cool though. I'll give this game that over. It's going crossbones. Oh god. No, actually, it's not all that useful. It's kind of. I think it's kind of irritating. Well, my dagger still goes straight forward, so I'm good. I'm just good. What the, the fuck was are that? Are these heat seeking? Okay, no, they what? bend for some reason. This is totally somebody's demo idea. Yeah, this is like a guy who had a lot of ideas for a game, but not... This not... is kind of fascinating. This is like some sort of historical box. This is like a... You know what... <laughs> oh. That is not rain. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I thought it was arrows, and I was scared. Oh yeah, you can also turn rapid... Oh my god, this is... Like, like what well... is that? Oh, the platforms I move along. Yeah, this is just a bunch of demo ideas. That the guy has to sort of a game to. I think he moved this into production way too early. Like, I think we're comparing a bad game against something that is not a game. Yeah. Like, well, this is extremely boring right now. Why, why, why would you even put a section that's this long of just standing in one place while things jump? It's a good oh thing my I... god, if you missed that <laughs> jump, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and you had to do all that again. Also, they're skeleton fish. Not a scary concept. Ah! They're scarier than uh, Mario because they're all over the place. Ah! But they're no scarier than normal fish, really. You should never shoot in the direction you want to hit the thing in. Yeah, I just... You should always hit in the ah! wrong direction. I... Like, I am fascinated by this now. At first it was like, oh look, a bad game. This is a time capsule of game design. Yeah, this is a Mega Man shit here. This is nothing new. That's, n that's not even Mega Man. That's like, it's very, it looks like a Mega Man enemy, but it doesn't act like one. Yeah. Are those what's, I guess those are my lives. I didn't even think about that. That's I assume that smiley faces are your lives. Otherwise, they're just smiley faces. <laughs> that's really hard. Okay, can I get through the section? Yeah, here, you go ahead. Uh -oh. The controls feel odd. Oh my goodness, yeah, you jump like you're hurtling like you out jump of an airplane. Like straight, you jump like gravity decides to oppose itself briefly. Which is exactly how they designed the jump. Oh, so but, I have to say, I you like walk your... so sluggishly. Yeah, I like your sweatpants with little strings. And I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Are they like razor blades? Like, what are they? Or are they bamboo shoots? I guess. This part looks impossible. Thanks for proving yourself right, Blake. 
I don't think I did. I think I just proved <laughs> that I could do it in this one instance. I think if you can't do something the first time, and it, it therefore is impossible, then we're really gonna have a lot of trouble with babies. And they're just like, well, I, I guess you weren't able to, uh, to drink on your own so far. I guess drinking for you is impossible. You'll have to live for another until you run. You are out. now a camel boy. You are now a camel boy. What, what the? I'm not sure what that meant, actually. I went with that, <laughs> not knowing which direction it was going or where it went. I don't know what's happening anymore. I blinked and you traveled like 30 feet, I swear to God. Ah! Oh, look, we're losing lives! Don't worry, we still have nine continues. <laughs> I get the feeling this guy is just really proud of his little mechanic. Like, I can see, like, as, as a person who's messed in game design but not really made games, I could see myself doing something like this. Where I made a game that, that looks pretty much impossible. Well, because it's, it's at a slight delay too, so you just have to wait for it, the randomness to sort of sync up. What? Enemies exist in this game. I forgot. Where did that enemy? He just come? popped into existence. Yeah, I mean, this is what? What is happening to the screen? If this game had an day night cycle, then this guy deserves like an Oscar for best. I want to Google this guy. Sound technician. <laughs> it doesn't need to make sense. He just needs an Oscar for something. It's like how they gave like an Oscar to Helen Mirren for a role that nobody liked doing, in, but they wanted to give her an Oscar. That's right. This guy. That's what I'm saying. This guy deserves like an Oscar for something that he didn't do. But I'm pretty sure this is not a day night cycle, but rather like it's like a level transition that kind of fucked up. These also move at different speeds, like the individual blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a set pattern. What is that thing down there? It's a skull, I think. Ah, I touched the top of it! Ah! That you were eaten by- Your skeleton's being eaten by a skeleton, that's cannibalism. Continue! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna game over this one. <laughs> not continue for nine times. But you know what we're gonna do just before we jump to the verdict? I'm gonna go over, I'm just gonna run through and beat the game. Shoot, shoot, ah! I like how you dodged that. This game is terrifying, isn't it? Just because things sort of come out of nowhere. Yeah. And you, it, like, you can actually avoid it's, them, but, the, but they look like impossible. So you just sort of freak out and flail and survive something. Here's the thing, uh, he, if you hold down an attack, you get the kick from Kung Fu. Yeah, that's but, what I was saying. But it's, but why? But it's, it's totally useless. Yeah, why would you use it? it? You die as soon as you do anything with it. All right, well, we're Well, that was hell, Fido. Uh, that fighter was hell. What the? So now the verdict, which game is it gonna be? <laughs> hell Fighter, which was not a game, or Skull and Crossbones, which was designed by a four-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> to the verdict. Okay, so that was that was new. That was interesting. Um, so we just played a little bit of uh, Hellfighter and a little bit of Skull and Crossbones, and uh, we're here um, with Vertical Video Games. So, I like you said this if you don't know. Hi. James Dale and he's from Vertical Video Games. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, welcome, Vugu. We're gonna try and provide for you our two best arguments. Whoever loses will be on the roster to be killed by the evil space robot that designed this challenge. So please remember. Um, don't choose him. He really needs, he really needs help. I need to pay back my student loans eventually, man. If I die, who's going to pay them back? Yeah. Your but, brother. Uh, oh, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> We're professionals. Okay. Go for it. So, Hellfighter is actually amazing. Um, I started doing research after we played the game and found it was by, uh, Thin Chan Enterprise, which is this Chinese bootleg company that just, like, shoveled all these games out. But this one's actually amazing. It does stuff with the engines and with the graphical programming that I've never seen done on a NES game. It has these weird mechanics. Like you saw us, well you didn't see us, but other people saw us play. Uh, and it's actually really weird and interesting what it's doing. Um, initially the game's just like, oh this is weird, this mechanic doesn't make any sense, what's happening? But then as you go on you start seeing all this interesting and strange things, like the way things move you don't see on a NES ever. Um, it played almost like more like a DOS game than a Nintendo game. But it was really interesting and different. Um, it was completely crazy and utterly insane. Nothing in it really made any sense in a way that actually really got me interested and actually made me research this old company. 
Oh, so it plays like a game designed by someone who really knows the technical yeah. stuff and has no idea how to make a fun game. Yeah, it's true. It is not a fun game, and that's what I'm <laughs> going to say first, is that it is completely tedious, because literally any random thing can kill you in pretty much one hit. It seems to have put no thought into the game design. It's, I mean, to the level design. The, it's basically a bunch of tech demos. I don't think you could even make it through to the end of the game, where Skull and Crossbones feels like an actual game. Mm -hmm. It's got a beginning and a middle and possibly an end. Um, and you've got weapons, you've got characters, and in some ways it's less inter interesting technically, but it's more fun as a game. It works. Um, you can progress, and it's, it's um, pirates versus an evil wizard, there's scantily clad maidens, and even though I think it's probably impossible, even though I think that it's basically garbage, it is more of a game. Now, it would have never been a popular game either. Yeah. At least you don't run out of sword in Hellfight. That's true. Basically, neither of these games work. <laughs> so, those are our two games. We got the tech demo that is interesting on that level, and we got the one that's more of a game, even though it's ugly and stupid. So, now it's your cho choice, uh, Darren, uh, to determine which of these terrible pieces of garbage that I hate uh, is are you going to choose. So I gotta choose between Hellfire, which I'm told is interesting and weird, and that it's not really a fun <laughs> game, it's very tedious, versus, what is this, Cross... Skull and Crossbones. Cross... Oh, Cross and Skull Bones. Cool. That's, that's, so, uh, that's we pretty cross much and skull on bones. the nose. <laughs> I don't I don't know anything about these games, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the more tedious ones just because I think when people sit down to play things, it's uh I don't know I don't know I'm a fan of like tedious crap that you just like make fun of. That's like, <laughs> that's how stock and like, trade yeah, is. YouTube know. people, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, well, y y you know what? Thanks a lot. Um, that was a pretty solid verdict. I don't know why you chose that when clearly the other one is an actual game. But you know, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, it's, it's, join the majority here. <laughs> So, um, thanks a lot for your uh, verdict, despite the fact that I now hate you, uh, as I've learned to hate pretty much everyone that's come on our show. Um, uh, networking. <laughs> do uh, check out Vertical Video Games. It's actually a pretty funny channel. Yeah. There's a lot of great stuff on there. Leave comments below, and comments in the description, and comments in descriptions in below, and descriptions and comments. As uh, well or as leave or, a comment. Or leave a comment or message us on Facebook, Twitter, where we can find us, hunt us down. Uh, bye from the Super Spirits Brothers and bye from everybody. Bye, bye folks. Bye. We are doing this like a Sesame Seed episode, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why does my wrist hurt? Don't answer that. Masturbating. <laughs>